This entire country stands on the shoulders of thousands of legendary black educators whose stories have not often been told. Dr. Marcus Foster, first black principal of a Philadelphia high school, later would become the first black superintendent of a major U.S. city when he became the superintendent in Oakland, California. Dr. Marcus Foster inherited a school that was plagued with issues, disinvestment, students not trusting the system. When Dr. Foster became that principal, he connected with the community. He re-enrolled 150 dropouts in one day. And within a week, over 250 youth had re-enrolled in school. Why? Because this black educator was leading that turnaround effort. When I began to turn around my first school, I tried to model some of my work off of what I saw in Dr. Marcus Foster's work at Gratz High School. While he had go for Gratz, I had one that was much longer, but it was the same sentiment. Shaw will succeed. We are fabulous indeed. And our students had a sense of purpose. We made sure that we developed a positive racial identity the same way that Dr. Foster did at Gratz. When I think of Dr. Marcus Foster, I think of my own educators. I think of my mother, Aisha El Meki. I think of my first principal, Mama Fasaha Trailer. I think of Mama Shakur and Mama Renee, my elementary school teachers. I think of Dr. Aisha Imani. I think of politicians like Jordan Harris, who was a teacher and Councilman Isaiah Thomas, who was also a teacher. Dr. Marcus Foster was the first black superintendent of a major U.S. city, but we have so many that followed them. People like Dr. Bill Height here in Philadelphia, Dr. Sonia Santelises, Dr. Louis Farabee, and Dr. Janice Jackson in Chicago. They can all trace their lineage to the great Dr. Marcus Foster.